Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be on this very sexy smoky eye right here and I broke it down for you guys and I'm going to tell you step by step, two by two, what to do to be able to create this very sexy smoky eye. This is a very 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 simple look, you just have to have two good blending brushes, the other brushes you can kind of get alternatives for but just really like two good blending brushes um, and you are going to be able to kill this look. I did the look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I achieved it by using just four colors from the palette. So anyone who owns this palette or has colors similar to these can achieve this look. So I am very excited to share it with you guys how to achieve this look and let's just go on to the tutorial. Alright guys, so in my eye I um, have a little bit of concealer from where I did my under eye area and I have a little bit of concealer under my brow as well and that's pretty much what I have on my eye. I don't currently have any primer. I narrowed it down to the least amount of steps possible um, and we're only going to use four colors out of the Modern Renaissance palette and I selected five different brushes that we're going to use to complete this look. Now, uh, brushes are essential just because we are going to do a very diffuse brown smoky eye and we want it and we want to have good blending brushes that will help us um, achieve this look. All right guys, so the first color we're going to use to complete this look is this one right here. It's called Golden Ochre. So Golden Ochre is going to be our transition shade. The brush that I'm going to be using to put on the transition shade is going to be the Sigma, Sigma E40 brush. It's a Sigma blending brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use. It's one that I reach um, for the most. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my crease. And a good rule of thumb is just... You guys can look forward and make sure that you're putting your blending brush in your crease and do windshield wiper motions. I'm going back in with the color and adding little by little more until I'm happy with the saturation of the product. Make sure to not go all the way up to the brow bone. We still want the brow bone to have um, a little bit of a lighter color so that our brows look more lifted. So the second brush that I'm going to be using is this one right here, and this is a Sephora brush. This brush is the most versatile blending brush that I own because I can use it for so many different things. It is tapered at the ends, but it still has two like long flat sides that are good for packing on the collar. This is the number 27 brush by Sephora Collection, and of course it will be linked on the description box. So the way I'm going to use it first is I'm going to get this color right here, this burnt orange, and I'm going to tap my brush in there. And I'm going to go on, you see how it has a fatter side and a smaller side? I'm going to go with the fatter side per se. And I'm going to do windshield wiper motions on my crease. Just like that. With that burnt orange shade. And I'm going all the way into the inner corner of the eye because I'm going. we're going to be putting very dark shades all over the eyelid. So we want to make sure that it has, that we place good blending shades there so that it looks like a um, seamless transition. And I also like to go from the outer edge of my crease to the outer corner of my eye. All right, just like that. So now we're going in with um, Cypress Umber. This right here is the most beautiful, richest brown that I own. I just love how this looks on the eyes. It's um, a really pretty intense brown color and it looks very sexy um, on, on this particular eye look. Um, with my same Sephora brush, I'm going to go into this dark brown, just like that. I took this um, orange shade with the tip because I wanted to blend, but this I'm going to go in and I'm going to just press the brush flat in the shadow so that I get a lot more pigment from it. And I'm just going to place it on my eyelid. So now, um, now that I'm happy with the saturation of that brown on my eyelid, I'm going to go with the same brush and blend the edges. 
So I'm just doing, I'm just going back and forth with the brush, doing windshield wiper motions and making sure that it all blends in seamlessly. All right, so to make sure that I'm not taking the brown really high up, I'm going to switch back to my Sigma brush that I used at the beginning and I'm going to go back and forth with that one so that it blends out the edges. And now I'm going back and adding a little bit more of that brown because sometimes in the blending process the intensity of the color kind of fades away a little bit. So if this happens to you and you get a little bit of fallout under your eye, um, just don't panic. Get, get a big powder brush like this one and just run it across. Just like that. And that should get rid of it. Alright, so now that I'm happy with the way that it looks at the top, we are going to do the bottom part and also we're going to highlight the inner corner and the um, bottom of our eyebrow. To highlight under the brow and the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to use this very, very tiny flat brush by Sephora Collection. This is the Sephora Collection number 18 brush. And I love this one to do that because it fits right into like the places where I want it to fit. So going back to my palette, the color I'm going to use to highlight is this one here called um, Tempera. And that's going to be my fourth and last shade that I'll be using. And I'm just going to run my brush right underneath my brow. And I make sure that I apply it first where I want the most intensity to be and kind of blend it to the sides. And then the last place where I'm putting this one is going to be right at the inner corner. So okay. then I'm going to go back with our Sephora. So I'm then I'm just going back with a Sephora blending brush and blending that out. Oh, I screwed that up so bad. Shit. Sorry. So my, damn it, my Sephora blending brush had a little bit of color of the really, really dark brown on the edge and I didn't clean it before I tried to blend that out. So now I have a very intense inner corner there and I don't like that. So I'm going to get a Q-tip real quick. Give me one second. All right, so I think I'm going to try to fix it. I'm just gonna get a Q-tip, a white Q-tip and run it all through that edge there. And it's okay if you take the color off because that's kind of what we want to do. So then I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and there we go, just... My beauty blender has a mix of like concealer and powder in the corner um, from when I applied my, my concealer and powder. So see, I just ran it through there and now I'm not gonna get that brush anymore. I'm just gonna get my, my Sigma blending brush and run it through the inner corner. And I'm I'm dipping it a little bit into the burnt um into the burnt orange shade because 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 we wanted that to look warmer right there. Okay. So we fixed that. So I'm just going to run the brush that has the light shade over it one last time and I'm just going to leave it like that. Fourth brush I'm going to use is this brush by Morphe. It is the Morphe E36 brush and it's just a really tiny smudge brush. And I like it because most pencil brushes have a very kind of hard pointed end but this one is more like round and softer so it's a little bit more gentle under my eye. I'm dipping that brush into the burnt orange shade and I'm just running it underneath my eye all the way to almost the inner corner. And do not be afraid to have nice thick shadow under your eyes. The smokier the better. The last step will be with this flat brush right here. And this one is by Morphe. This is the Morphe M432. I'm going to grab the Cypress Umber color, that really deep brown with the tip of this brush. And I'm placing it underneath my lashes, my bottom lashes. All right, so now that this is looking like that, we have to still diffuse it. So we go back with the E36 and run it over the edges of that brown so that it melts into the burnt orange shade. Now I'm grabbing this NARS um, black eyeliner and I'm going to put this in the waterline and I'm going to put it 
above as well. All right, so the next step is going to be to apply mascara. All right, guys, so, so far the only thing I've done differently is I put on my false lashes. All right, guys, so that is it. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm obsessed with this look, and it's so simple and easy and fast to do. Um, I only did one eye because, I mean, both eyes should look the same, so you just repeat the same thing on the other eye. Um, and the lashes I applied are going to be linked down in the description box. I don't know the name of them, but they're by um, Ilor and Vegas Nate. They did a collaboration, and these are the fullest ones that they have. They are very sexy and dramatic, and I think they match the smoky eye pretty good. Um, so if you like this video, if this tutorial was helpful, if you learned something new, please go ahead and click the thumbs up. Um, the, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. That would really help me. Share my video if you'd like to, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!